Hello, uh, this video is gonna be about the skeletal system, just an introduction. Uh, this image, um, our first slide comes from our textbook um, showing how the skeletal system um, interacts with all the other systems of the body. So you can take a look at that when you get a chance. Some functions of bones, um, so we'll go through each of these. So the general first function of bones is to support. Bones form uh, the internal framework that supports the body and cradles our soft organs. Our legs are the pillars upon which we support the um, upper part of our body. Uh, the rib cage supports the thoracic wall. All different sorts of support functioning there. Protection is gonna be our next function. Um, bones obviously protect soft body organs. Um, so for example, the skull protects the brain. The rib cage protects your heart and your lungs. Um, again, a massive protection function uh, there. Movement is another really big function. Uh, skeletal um, uh, muscles, which are going to be the bulk of our muscular system that allows us to move around um, our world. Um, those uh, attach to our bones and allow us to move our limbs, right? Um, so movement's a big uh, function there. Uh, storage, so fat's gonna be stored in, in the marrow of bones. Bones uh, store minerals like calcium and phosphorus. So there's a storage aspect and then there's a blood cell formation aspect, right? So blood cells will uh, be created in the marrow of, of certain bones. So lots of functions of bones. A couple of facts. Bones, one of the hardest materials in the body and yet very lightweight. The calcium salts are gonna be what give bone its hardness. Um, and then the organic portions like collagen fibers are gonna give it its flexibility and strength. Remember bone is a connective tissue. Um, so there are going to be those uh, cellular matrix fibers as well as cells that live inside of bone. Um, the, these collagen fibers can give um, bone a bit of an ability to stretch uh, without breaking. Now, of course, this does change um, with age and composition of the bones. Uh, various parts of the skeletal system. So skeleton literally means dried up body. So you can see where that word uh, came from. Uh, it has two subdivisions. Uh, there's the axial skeleton, which are gonna be uh, the bones of the longitudinal axis of the body that include um, the skull, uh, the vertebral column and the rib cage. And then there's the appendicular skeleton. So there's gonna be the bones of the limbs and the girdles like the pelvic girdle and the shoulder girdle um, that are literally appended or attached to the axial skeleton. The skeletal system also includes things besides bones. Um, obviously it includes bones, that's gonna be mostly what we focus on, but it includes joints, cartilages, as well as ligaments that are going to be the fibers that connect bones um, at the joints um, and another connective tissue there. A little bit on bone classification. Uh, there are gonna be 206 bones in the human body and we can classify them in generally two ways, right? Uh, there's two types of bones. There's compact bone and spongy bone. Compact bone is dense and it looks smooth and homogenous. You can see here on the outer edges, we have compact bone. And then spongy bone is gonna have, it's gonna look like it sounds, right? The name implies. It has lots of these little needle-like pieces of bone and there's gonna be open space involved. And so some um, individual bones have both compact and spongy bone and uh, other bones are made of lots of one and less of the other. Uh, so it depends on the bone there. Um, bones can also be classified by the size of the bones and the shape of the bones, right? We have big bones and we have small bones and various unique shapes of bones. Um, these unique shapes are that way to serve the need or purpose of that bone, right? And this is another classic form follows function um, example where the shape of the bone uh, literally has to do with its function. Uh, let's talk about bone shape. Um, so bones can be classified by shape. They can either be long, short, flat, or irregular. And I'm gonna uh, lose my video here so we can look at the short bones. So a little bit about long bones. Long bones are typically longer than they are wide. Um, so here, when we're looking at the humerus bone, it is longer than it is wide. It generally has a shaft in the middle and two um, heads at, at either end. Um, 
It's mostly made of compact bone, um, and almost all the bones of your limbs are going to be long bones, uh, with the exception of like wrist and ankle bones and your kneecap. Short bones are generally cube shaped. So here uh, we have a short bone uh, shown, short bone shown, lol. Um, uh, it's gonna contain mostly spongy bone. Uh, so you find these at the wrist and the ankles. Um, uh, so we can see those there. Flat bones uh, shown here on the top right are thin and flattened, usually curved in some way. Um, there are generally two layers of compact bone sandwiching a layer of spongy bone between them. We saw an example of this on the other slide. Uh, most of the bones of the skull, uh, the ribs and the sternum, which is your uh, breastbone as shown here, will be flat bones. Uh, and last but not least, we have irregular bones. They don't necessarily fit into any of the other categories. For example, your vertebrae are going to be irregular bones. And we're going to stop there for now.